What's up, everybody? It's your boy Hugh here from Creator Up. After I release the first tutorial and teach you how to use the brand new Adobe Premiere 2018 version to edit 360 video, a lot of my viewers ask me how to you do 3D stereoscopic footage. Actually, it's also very simple. All the same functionality is built inside Premiere. First, if you haven't checked out my first tutorial, definitely go ahead and check that out. And if you already went through that tutorial and you want to learn how to do the same workflow for stereoscopic footage, which is 3D footage, let's dive right in. Okay, so here we have a piece of footage, which is a top and bottom stereoscopic footage. First, let's look at how to actually view this. Again, you can all you can always view this on a VR headset, the Ocular Rift. But again, you can quickly preview it in the brand new Premiere 3D view window. If you click that, you see that I have the two by one ratio, but also you see the 3D disparity right here, the the cyan and the red. Uh, how you do that is actually right click it right here in the VR video in the setting. You can look at the left eye view, the right eye view and the anagraph. That's the anagraph view. So it depends on uh, what you want to view it. Sometimes if you don't want to view the anagraph, I will just look at the left eye, but you, I still see the stereoscopic footage. If you turn it back, see it's up top and bottom right here. Sometimes I want to see how good is the studio stereo. I will usually would go to the anagraph and that is the best way actually to view 3D footage. And then if you fast forward, you see me when I'm really close to the camera, you see that I'm really turning to 3D from the disparity from the color. And another thing I want to show you that I hear I turn into a toggle proxy button because that is actually a 6K footage. It's a pretty high resolution, 6K, 6K times 6K. Even my machine is pretty tough to actually have a live preview of this footage. So I actually create a, a proxy workflow on my stereo uh, footage right here. If you want to learn how to do proxy and my proxy workflow, comment below and I will teach you and make that in the next tutorial. Okay, so uh, when I have this footage step, what I usually do is let's turn back here to adjust the center of the video. What it means is when people put on the VR goggle, what is the first thing you want them to see? Uh, I already adjust that to that center right here in Mythical VR. Again, I stitched it in Mythical VR. I filmed this in 6K 360 with this camera in 360 Pro. But again, uh, I really want to like make the 3D look better, so I actually create the stitch and stereo effect in Mystical VR. And if you want to learn that, again, check out this tutorial right here, and I'll teach you how to achieve perfect stitching with stereoscopic footage. After you stitch from Mystical, import the footage. First two I usually do is to drop in a VR rotation sphere on the video. And then let's say if I want the starting point to be here. Again, one thing, forgot to do that, frame layout, Click stereoscopic. So every VR immersive tool inside Premiere support both mono and stereo. So uh, if you work in stereo, just pick stereo and it will work on stereo right there. As you see, if I tilt Y axis, work. If your horizon line is not level like this one right now, adjust that right here. Let's say that is not level right now. Just to that row for minor two. Now the horizon is level as you see right now. So that is how you adjust the horizon line if the camera is not level. The second thing I usually do is add a branding right here. So let's, branding is different from mono to stereo because in stereo, the brand, the brand, the graphic will have a distance. So how to create a distance? I will show you right now. It's also very easy. So I think I have a graphic right here. Drop it on top. So. Why right now it's not right because it's on top in the middle of the footage. That's not right because that is a top and bottom stereoscopic footage. The first thing I would go to effect again, type in VR. I jump in the second effect is the VR's playing to, playing to fears. So drop it on top of the logo. And it's still not right. I'll show you why. Because why right now, uh, the effect thing, this logo is in a monoscopical footage, but it's not. This is a stereoscopic footage. So you need to tell the effect VR plane to sphere is stereo. But if you put stereo now, the logo put in the correct position right now in the middle. It's too big. So let's put it smaller. But again, let's turn on the VR view to see how it looks. So as you see, 
first actually I want to adjust the center back so let me we move the via rotate sphere so why not it's in the centers and now the logo is right in the center of the first frame but as you see that the logo why now is flat this like because why now again I'll show you I am on the anagraph I'm on the anagraph view uh, the logo because it's, there's no disparity meaning that uh, the logo why now is in the flat surface so as far as the background so why not the logo look like in the VR headset look like is from the background that's not right because I want the logo to be really close at least the same distance as this like case right here so I need to add in the, the, the 3D disparity so you can easily do that with the effect control Just go ahead and pick that in here you have stereo disparity and then you can add disparity right there. As you see, if you try to move it, you can create disparity just like this one. So now the logo, the logo have like pretty strong disparity. Actually, have three. Uh, if you put it in a VR headset, it look like it's actually closer than the case, which is that's what I want because the logo should be really close uh, in a 2D environment, and then everything is in the background. So if you're in a Z space, in a vertical space. Logo first, the case, and then me. If you want to make it even cooler, you can actually add some animation. So let's say that the logo come from really far. So in here, I will keyframe it. So the first frame, there's no disparity. The logo should be pretty far away. So I also make it super small in the Z space, maybe like five. And right there, see in the background with me right there in the footage. And then uh, at the end, I want the logo come with me. Part more a little bit faster. So, or oh, at four. But again, that would not sell the effect because when anything come in the Z space, they also getting bigger and bigger. So you should also go back here, uh, keyframe the scale, and then in here you can make it like thirty percent and go all the way to uh, the viewer. So when you play it. It looked like the logo to coming in. Uh, to make it the effect sound even better, make sure right here. That's the last frame I want. Just trim the footage, and I want to fade out. Just at the end of cloudy saw. And then if you just have a quick ramp review, it's what the final without look like. Let's also let the logo fade in right here. Again, let's do one more ramp review. So as you see right here, so the logo would zoom in from really, really far away, all the way with me, path through me, and go to the audience. And disparity is just getting bigger and bigger because the, the logo getting closer and closer, and also getting bigger and bigger. So sell this effect that the logo is move in the Z space. That's how you do logo in to the environment inside Z space without going to After Effect, just win Premiere. Okay, so after the let the logo, the brand's happy now. So the next thing we need to deal with is actually a very common thing to remove the tripod and remove the camera right here. As you see, the camera is not in frame, but again, the sun is behind the camera, so it's casting a shadow on the ground. So you will see if you go over the VR view, as you see. The camera itself have disparity because um, it's, you see the shadow is further away from this point, but this point has no disparity because that is the ground, but it's a sandbag. So I actually need to remove this entire thing. So I want this thing to be gone. So uh, a lot of you are actually asking this is the most common asked question. How do we move your tripod, your camera, your sandbag in a 3D scale graphic footage? So I will show you the easiest way now. So step one is hide this. I want to find a good frame that really represent the camera and the tripod leg. It's not moving, so I think this is a good frame. Just pick the middle far, and then I want to output this frame as a TIFF image. So I have the TIFF file. So now I actually open Photoshop. So now I need to paint out this tripod leg. But again, this is a top and bottom 3D footage. Will be unfortunately in the new version of Photoshop, uh, they only support mono photo edit, still doesn't support stereo photo edit. But 
don't worry about it. We have a way to actually do that and I will show you how. So step one is go ahead and create some guide layout to help you to find out what is going on. So you need any column, so turn it off, but you have two rows. Okay, so now I separate the left eye and the right eye, top and bottom. And I go ahead, hit the selecting tool to select the top part. Control C and copy, and then create a new file. And then you generate a new file from the clipboard. So click create and paste right here. That is left eye, so you go ahead and save as left eyes. And then we'll do the same thing for right eye. Okay, now we have left eye and right eye separated. Now let's go ahead and go on left eye. And now this is just a simple monoscopic photo. It's not stereo anymore. So we can actually leverage the Photoshop, the brand new vehicle panorama. Again, if I want to learn more how to use the new vehicle panorama to edit, check out this tutorial right here and go through detail step by step how to use that. Leverage this new feature to how to improve your existing photos. Pick the new panorama layer from selected layers. Go ahead. You can remove the background layer. So here is the most important step. I want to create a non-destructive workflow. So before I even do anything on this footage, go ahead and double click the vehicle map right here. Double click on it. And actually go back to the vehicle map. And here is a layer 14. It's a smart object inside Photoshop. The one thing you need to do is right here, go ahead and click and create a new layer. And that is what you need to do to just for organization purpose. I can rename this layer. So that would be the layer to paint out the tripod leg. So that's all you need to do. Go ahead and close this. It will ask you to save. Say yes. Save it. Nothing changed here. Nothing still, still, everything looks the same. So now you just need to pan into the tripod leg right here. So now I want to paint this leg out. So go ahead and create a new layer to select around the environment right here. The reason why I select not that on the layer is because I'm gonna use content aware film to, to paint this out. So I need some texture around it. So the content aware film would know like what to feel on this area. But again, I don't wanna make it too big because this layer gonna be copied. Well, I will actually show you later what happened, but this layer was actually copy and paste into the separate layer and we'll extract that out as the patch for the tripod leg. So you don't want to be too big or too small. So you want to find a middle ground right here. So go ahead and copy that information and paste on layer to the new layer right here. So inside this layer, so we can go ahead and paint this out. The reason why I want to create a new layer is also because the brand new Photoshop, this Vehicle Panorama 2 is pretty buggy so far. So if you want to do the entire AK footage, uh, we might uh, causing you to crush the Photoshop. So the best way is to actually just deal with the this footage that we try to get rid of and not asking extra process power from the GPU. So that's just a tips. So now go ahead and select the spot hitting brush tool right here. It'll be good enough. So I just do a broad stroke. It's gone. It's gone. And then I'll try to make it a little bit perfect and I try to match the outline. So I will go ahead and use the chrome stamp too. Okay, good enough. We're not trying to get perfect. But now that is the tribal is gone. And then before you move, remember the merge layer. So right click here, merge down to merge layer down in here. And now go ahead and double click the vehicle map again. And see the tripod is gone right here and the bottom part is gone, but where is it? Actually, it actually create a layer on top of it to cover this layer. See that? That's why it's so important you create a brand new layer to create a non-destructive workflow. So that is the information you need to paint out the tripod leg. And that is what we need in Premiere. So just go ahead and select this layer, Control C to copy it, and go back to the tripod leg tip file right here, the first one, create a new layer, 
and pasting that layer and then drag it and that is the top part to cover the top part of the tripod leg so now the top part of the tripod is gone and then we still have the bottom part so we're gonna repeat the same process in the right eye in here go ahead and remove the, la the bottom layer So now both left and right eye is patched with the tripod leg. And we actually don't need the background layer. We all we need is the patch. So I will go ahead and save this file. And then rename it. Now let's go ahead and go back and premiere. And go ahead and import that. And then just drag the layer on. Oops. And now just drag the layer on top of everything and cover the entire file. Now, look at that. The tripod that is gone. Let's just preview it to see the final result. So I drag the logo and I'm also gonna build the logo part as well. And let's do a quick RAM preview. And that's it, look at that. The tripod has gone completely in the stereoscopic footage. Just to show you what it looked like in actual view. So go ahead and play it. Local coming in. I don't see the tripod leg at all. Everything looked perfect. Look at that. That's, that's how easy you can do to you just Photoshop and Premiere to remove the tripod leg. Okay, in the next tutorial, I will teach you a more advanced situation to remove tripod leg. But take a look at this footage. So we're using the same method I just taught you to patch the tripod leg. Take a, take a look. The tripod rig right here with my Insta360 Pro and then I patch it. But let's view this video. And you pay attention to the ground. Okay, so two major problems. She's dancing, she go into the, the ground patch. And also because the lighting is constantly changing right here, the color is changing, the ground color is changing. So the patch actually not look real because it's just a static image. So it will not change color according to the lighting. And also the actress, the dancer actually going inside this patch. So in the next tutorial, I gotta teach you more advanced to using Mocha VR to track to roto out the tripod and basically also track the actions. So uh, we create a mask on top of this tripod lab, tripod lab patch to get rid of it. So when she go into the patch, you would not see the patch actually cover her leg. Instead, uh, have would be a mask to cut that part out. And also I teach you how to adjust everything inside after effect. So make sure that uh, just not just a static patch, we actually change color according to the environment. All that will be done inside, unfortunately cannot be done in Premiere. We have to do it inside um, Mocha VR and also with After Effects. So if you want to check out that tutorial, make sure to subscribe to my channel. And again, go check out my Instagram. If you haven't checked out my Instagram yet, uh, a lot of behind the scenes and show you how I using all different kind of camera to create funny pictures tiny tiny picture and again uh, if you like this video please give me a thumb up subscribe to my channel and I will see you next time